Modern military technology is rapidly changing the nature of combat operations, turning the soldier into a formidable fighting unit. In the late 1930s, he had handheld automatic small arms, not inferior in combat performance to the machine guns Gatling and Maxim, but which weighed dozens of kilograms. In 1945, there appeared hand grenade launchers capable of destroying tanks as effectively as multi-ton guns. And then came the time of manual aviation. The time came when every soldier could have his warplane. No, of course it's not called a handheld or, for example, a pocket plane. It has a different name, the Bouncing Ammunition. It was developed in 2011 by the American company Aerovironment. Its name very accurately reflects the design of this weapon, Switchblade 300. It was commissioned by the U.S. Air Force Special Operations Command to be an effective weapon against enemy ambushes in Afghanistan. An operation in that country has shown that air support is often late. It's also quite expensive to call in an AH-64 Apache or A-10 Thunderbolt II attack aircraft, plus their weapons don't provide the accuracy needed in dense urban areas and cause civilian casualties. And by the time support arrives, the attackers often have time to get away. Using the FGM-148 Javelin is also not a solution. First, it's also quite expensive. One shot alone costs almost $250,000 and spending it to destroy one or two Taliban is ruinous. Secondly, the Javelin may not be in the regular army patrol, and the available Raven or Puma handheld drones can detect threats but have no weapons. On July 29, 2011, the U.S. Army awarded Aerovironment a $4.9 million contract for the rapid deployment of an undetermined number of switchblades for forces in Afghanistan. On March 20, 2012, the Army added $5.1 million for a total of $10 million. Switchblades are essentially kamikaze drones. A soldier launches it, uses a video camera on board the vehicle to locate the target, and directs the drone with a shape charge warhead at it. It's very simple and effective. The Switchblade 300 is structurally an unmanned aerial vehicle housed in a tube-shaped launcher. The drone and its launcher together with the case weigh only about 2.7 kilograms and its maximum size is 610 millimeters. It's one and a half times shorter than an M16 rifle. The Switchblade 300 can be carried in a backpack or on a shoulder. To use it, you should place the launcher on a flat surface. It has a special support leg and bipod, like a manual machine gun. Turn the drone on, make sure there's a connection between it and the control panel, and press the start button. The drone is ejected from the tube with compressed air on the principle of a pneumatic catapult. It immediately unfolds carbon fiber wings and stabilizers and turns on an electric motor that can accelerate the drone to a speed of nearly 160 kilometers an hour and raise it to an altitude of four and a half kilometers. All the operator has to do is detect the target and aim the vehicle at it. The Switchblade 300 uses a color camera and GPS to locate track and engage targets whose images must first be entered into the drone's memory. Its warhead has an explosive charge equivalent to a 40 millimeter grenade to destroy light armored vehicles and personnel. If the situation changes, the operator can redirect the switchblade. There's no provision to return the drone if there are no targets. This is a kamikaze drone. In addition to using against ground targets, it's possible to use the switchblade 300 to intercept enemy drones. In this case, it's combined into a single system with radar and an electronic warfare system. Switchblade is used together with an existing anti-artillery radar and electronic warfare system. All of this is transported on Humvees. After the radar detects an enemy drone, they first try to use the electronic warfare system to break its data link. If that fails, a switchblade is launched to physically hit and destroy it. There is no remote detonation. The Switchblade 300 has a range of 10 kilometers and can stay in the air for only 10 minutes. In late 2012, 75 Switchblade 300s were delivered to U.S. soldiers in Afghanistan. By January 2013, there had been several instances of combat use of the drone. The military did not provide details on the use and effectiveness of the weapon, only reporting that it was very effective. Shortly thereafter, the command requested additional Switchblade 300s, from its adoption to the end of Operation Enduring Freedom, more than 4,000 switchblades were deployed in Afghanistan. 
In April 2015, Marines tested a Switchblade 300 mounted on the back of an MV-22 Osprey convertible used for troop movements. The drone was not equipped with a warhead, but it successfully hit the target. So a Switchblade could be added to the 7.62mm machine gun and 12.7mm Gatling triple-barreled cannon on the convertiplane. AeroVironment has also developed a remote-controlled multi-pack launcher capable of alternately launching up to six Switchblade 300s. The Switchblade 300 costs only $6,000 per kit, making it one of the leaders in combat effectiveness slash price ratio. AeroVironment, inspired by the success of the Switchblade 300, developed the Switchblade 600 and flight tested it in March of 2020. It's already a much larger and more massive weapon. Its total weight is 23 kilograms, but still cope with one person. In combat readiness, the system is brought up to 10 minutes. The composition of the Switchblade 600 complex is the same as that of its predecessor. It includes a bumping stock and a transport launch container made as an independent launcher as well as a control panel in the form of a tablet computer. The length of the transport and launch container is about 1.8 meters. The container is equipped with support, which allows you to make the launch itself. It can also be mounted on vehicles, armored vehicles, boats, and helicopters. The launch is done in a mortar-like manner, only the drone is not ejected by compressed gas, but by a pyro charge located in a container. The drone itself is externally similar to the previous Switchblade 300. It has a variable cylindrical cross-section hole, the nose part, which contains the homing head, and the warhead as a large cross-section. The central part of the hull has an in-flight unfoldable wing, while the tail has a stabilizer and a keel. An electric motor with a pusher propeller is mounted at the tail of the vehicle. In the nose of the hull is an optronic unit in a movable casing used as a reconnaissance and targeting system. The unit has television and thermal imaging channels. There's also an autopilot with a satellite navigation system and communication means for data exchange with the operator. Switchblade 600 is equipped with a tandem-shaped charge shaped like the javelin. This warhead can pierce up to 6 to 800 mm of homogeneous armor behind a dynamic shield. There is a contact and remote fuse. A product with such a powerful warhead can also be used against protected structures. The Switchblade 600 can fly 40 kilometers in 20 minutes and then barrage for another 20 minutes to find the target. In total, this munition can fly 80 kilometers. The drone has a speed of 115 kilometers an hour in born mode and up to 180 kilometers an hour when attacking. The complex is controlled by the operator panel tablet through a secure radio channel. The touchscreen displays a terrain map or video signal from the munitions locator as well as telemetry. Compatibility with modern means of communication is provided. The unit is capable of receiving data from outside sources and transmitting information on self-detected targets. The software of the unit implements the principles of intuitive control. In particular, the target is selected by simply clicking on the desired object on the screen. The operator observes the area and searches for a target using the standard optronic munitions equipment. Once the target is detected, it's escorted and the vehicle receives an attack command. The targeting is done independently using a dual-channel homing head. Defeat takes place from the upper hemisphere, just like the Javelin's anti-tank guided missile, which poses a greater threat to armored vehicles. The exact price of the Switchblade 600 kit has not been announced, but it's known to be lower than that of the Javelin anti-tank guided missile system. At the same time, the effectiveness of the Kamikaze drone is higher. It can hit heavily armored vehicles at a distance of up to 80 kilometers, including those hidden from the observer on the ground. For example, behind a house, a hill, or a high fence. Compared to Javelin, however, the airborne system is 2.5 times heavier and requires more time to bring it to combat readiness. But it seems to us that the range of 80 kilometers compared to 2.5 kilometers of Javelin more than compensates for these drawbacks. So far, the Switchblade 600 has not been used in real combat operations, but soon it, as well as the Switchblade 300, will be subjected to the most severe test. Washington has decided to provide Ukraine with 100 Switchblades, 300 and 600, and soon the drones will face the second army in the world, the Russian army, which has first-class air defense. If they can penetrate it and inflict tangible damage on the Russians, then the United States has an outstanding weapon. Inexpensive, but very effective. We don't have to wait long. And what do you think? Should Ukraine have been handed these weapons to help it stand up in the war with Russia? Write your comments below the video.
And don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel. There's going to be many more interesting stories about modern weapons coming soon.